This episode of the Fuse 4 Network podcast is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Click on the link in the YouTube or show description to get 35% off all new products. This expires on January 28th of this year. Also sponsored by Green Man Gaming. We have three vouchers this week that you're going to want to check out in the description. One for Europeans, one for Americans, and one for Canadians. Oh, right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode number 37 of the Fuse 4 Network podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Dave McCauley, and we're joined by a great group of people this week. As always, you know, it can't go wrong. But we have a new guest. As usual, not as usual. Sometimes we don't know. It's just whenever we can get people on. But this week we have Alan, a.k.a. TNA fan. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. And, uh... Just one quick little thing I heard about uh, involving CM Punk. Uh, there's a rumor going around that Phil Veroni uh, challenged him to a fight, so he's got two fights lined up. He can fight the Green Ranger, or he can fight CM Punk named Phil Veroni. But anyway, uh, I am a <laughs> Let's Player here, and I'm also looking to get back into reviewing. I've been on here six years. I might as well go back to my roots. So right, Awesome. I, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And, and oh, keep going. Go ahead. <laughs> and it's about it mounted to about 150 subs. So <laughs> shows nice. you how good I am. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Next we have Brad. Well, uh, my Google Chrome crashed, but I'm back now. I'm gonna What's crash going on? your Google Chrome. Oh, that's right. Shit. Yeah, I went there. I went there. That's, that's very All right. ironic. I know. Just in time for Valentine's Day, Brad. <laughs> he wants oh. it. He wants Brad, it. I'll be your Valentine. <laughs> Podcast. He wants. See, you have you have Valentines all around, Brad. Don't worry, it's okay. You have Valentines too. I stole that from Corey, by the way. I, not original at all. And of course, we have Kim. Hello. Hi. And, uh, so docile. Hey, what's up? I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna say hi and talk later. All right. And last but not least, we have the Truffle Shuffle Master himself, Mr. Mufasa Fernando. We call him Chris because that happens to be his name. Um, I don't believe that. I don't think my name's Chris. It's uh, Christopher. But yeah, yeah, I'll be kidding. What's up, guys? Oh. Uh, I'm the late one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's, was... he's the reason for all you live viewers. Chris is the main reason why we're always late. I'm just gonna blame everything on him. Yeah, just... Every podcast in the pat in the past, if we've ever been late, it's always been because of Chris. So South, South Park blames Canada, and you blame Chris. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's just that's the way it goes. Yeah, just a circle of life. Excuse I guess. Me. Yeah. Uh, th- I need to bury my my hole even bigger. Hold on, sorry. Ugh. What the hell are you doing? Why don't you actually get a real shovel, you dumbass? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Instead of an invisible piece of shit, what the hell is this? How about you shut the f*** up and let's keep going with this f- Hey, shit. hey! You only knew what went on before the show. Yeah, Chris started taking off his pants and then doing the meat swing. Jesus, see, just, I don't know, there's something. See, there he goes again. I'm trying to do my rocks off on it. (laughs) (laughs) That was awesome. We were all just sitting here and we're like, we had streamers going. We were like, Happy Valentine's Day! And Chris is like, doom, 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 He's just, he's just <laughs> like a Scrooge of Valentine's Day. Do, 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 do. You know, funny yeah. part is when you were talking about that, I had someone at work today, a little kid, like, uh, he said Happy New Year, Valentine's Day. It was funny. So that you make me think streamers, like, some kid just said Happy New Year. I'm like, Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Happy New Year. I was like, oh my god. In an alternate dimension, Chris would have uh, just said, hey, fuck you, kid, and smacked him. But since wow. we're in this, since we're here, you I know, don't Chris children. is sure he's used to the child abuse. I do not in, abuse children. You can stop in, that, Dave. Chris suffers from these problems because he won't answer uh, my love letters. 
Wait, no, I don't, no, I haven't got any of those. I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're too goddamn lazy to go you to your mailbox. Because you them up. <coughs> oh, you <coughs> heartless bastard. At least you can have the decency. At least you can have, has have the decency to reply to his message, asshole. Yeah, you're a prick. What kind of person are you? Yeah, Jesus. Okay. Who are you? I, I thought you so... were a better Chris. I didn't think you were this douchebag. I don't even know you anymore, man. <laughs> yeah, you don't know me anymore. Yeah, the old Chris went You're through a time for and traded spots with him. You yeah. just know you drink me now. Oh, my God. Jesus. So, what's everybody been up to this week? What have we been doing gaming-wise and so on and so forth? Just throw it out there. <laughs> Fight, Jesus. We'll start off Brad, with Brad. <laughs> Brad, you forget every time and you're muted and you have to say it. <laughs> Persona 3. Thank you. God dang it. Sorry. Blank to my Persona 3. People who are listening are uh, not on the... I don't uh, need to hear your goddamn stuff. lecture. I was I'm sorry. He's a jerk and he I had myself muted the whole time. I was getting ready to talk. He just wants to hold the game up and not say anything. He forgets about you people. We, I love you. That's why I say everything out loud. Yeah, keep going, Professor Chris. Give him that lecture. <laughs> you give him that shit. Throw the book at him. <laughs> okay, Danny. Yeah, I wish I had a book. As if we had a book to throw at somebody. Damn it! I don't have one, Danny. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I've been I've been playing this game a lot, and I'm having a lot of fucking fun with it. So I so, come to the realization that I have way too goddamn many games, <laughs> and I keep buying yeah. more. By the way, yeah, you're like, you're like my friend Leg, who fucking backlogs all his videos, but you're but you backlog all your games. Yeah, but I'm trying to get, like, the gist of, you know, the whole PlayStation 2 system, everything that came out of North Earth America, because I have no idea what came through my mind. And I said, you know what? I think it would be a smart idea to promise to review every PlayStation 2 game out there. Have fun with yeah. that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of fun. Quite some time. There's about 150 RPGs. And yeah, on top of, of all the sports games, all the shooting games, all the all shovelware. Of, yeah, basically. All Half obscure of, games. Yeah, this guy's a lot of games that PS2 came out with. Yeah, it's gonna be fun dropping a hundred bucks on Rule of Rose. More games than the Wii U. Yeah, it's gonna be fun dropping a hundred bucks on Rule of Rose. It's gonna be fun dropping thirty bucks a piece for a t- Tellier Iris one, two, and three. But. Oh my. Besides that, I've gotten very acquainted with my three new favorite hoes. Wait, where were they? <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Oh, the X. Uh, oh, I've been playing yeah. around the deck. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. TCC, so yeah. The he... Three damage for every Pokemon that has round in the card. Yeah. yeah uh, it's a stupid deck. The f- I Most of the time... If I've won, I've had to just load up the freaking yeah. uh, Metal Eye EX. It's never the freaking Seismitoad winning games. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't played Pokemon TCG in God knows how long. Because I, I play. I play it's Yu-Gi-Oh, getting broken. So. He's, been, he's been playing Pokemon X and Y on his cardboard. Yeah, that, yeah my cardboard 3 <laughs> d Yep. Guys. I, video people can't hear it, but yeah, I'm holding up my 3DS, but yes, my cardboard 3DS. Jesus, Chris, what's wrong with you? You just said the video people can't hear this. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, whatever. You know what I meant. Uh, this ain't a video podcast anymore, Mufasa. Don't Chris, you think me. you're cool? Don't pull I got me. one, and I got two. You wow. You just called. You just got called out, son. You just and got called out. I got a ball. I got just uh, and huh? I yeah. have to address. I'll start sending shovelware. There you go. I don't, I don't need a stinking 3ds. Oh man, he's I got the now. He's yeah, you have, you have the That's indestructible like phone. Yeah, I have an indestructible phone here. Yeah. <laughs> you got a Galaxy yeah, Nokia phone. Still better games than on the CDI. <laughs> Still better games than Wii U. Wow. Snake. <laughs> and snake and snake and centipede and snake. 
great games. Dude, Snake is a fun ass game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's awesome. You can Snake call it Snake kind of like, because it's the same game. Yeah, it's kind of like Solitaire. If you've got five minutes to kill and you're waiting for something to happen, you got Snake and you got Solitaire. Always a great choice. <laughs> but I wanted to ask about. Uh, yeah, I want to ask about Persona. Like, is uh, I've never played any of the games myself. Is it a fighting game? Is it a fighting no, game with it's chapters? No, a fighting or? game for Persona, but Persona is like an RPG, and it's kind of like where you interact with everyone, and like the more you interact with people, the more powerful your characters get, and, that. and you got like these little things called Personas, which is basically the how the game, and you use those monsters and like as spells and stuff, and you can. Like do a lot of damage and shit. It's basically like a traditional RPG mixed mixed in with like uh, interaction with uh, other characters and that. And it's 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 really hard to explain if you really haven't like played it. But it's pretty much just one of those RPGs that are is extremely long but has a lot of depth to it. So. And, and uh, uh, little warning: most of the Shin Megami Tensei games are hard. They yeah. are challenging as well. And, um, Persona. No. Sorry, I had to say that. I have four, and that game beat my ass. I yeah. have three games from. I I I have Devil Summoner laying around somewhere. I know I know I have that game. I need to get Nocturne, but I have Persona three and four. So and I'm Persona four Arena. Arena. Arena's the fighting game one, right? Yeah, so Arena's yes, the yeah. fighting game. It's it's a fighting game. Okay. And it just takes uh, elements from the RPG and throws them into uh, a fighting, fighting style. style yeah. In a fighting style, yeah. Basically, it's just a traditional fighting game. Like, you don't really have to be into Persona to really, like, play the game itself. Because, like, it's just, like it, all, it briefly explains who the characters are, basically, in the game, kind of. So, like, it's still, like... You still kind of get into the game, like, get into the series a bit when you play the fighting game. So it, it's it's nice that they did that. But uh, each it's, character I'll plays like they would, like they did in the RPG. Oh no, no, it's fine. But each character plays like they do significantly, like and they do in the RPG. Like Chie, she's a fucking like kung fu fighter. Like she she's obsessed with watching kung fu movies and stuff. And she, so basically, she like beats the crap out of people with like martial arts and shit. And then you got characters like you, who has like this, who's like a, has a sword and you like does crazy ass shit. And you got Teddy, who's like a fucking, of course, Ted, like a bear kind of. It's a weird. He's a weird character, but it's fucking. You just have to like, bear with it. Remember, hello. Yeah, but um, it's it's get a, out. It's, unique. <laughs> it's a unique game at best, and uh, it's 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 recommended to, for people that are uh, big fighting game fanatics. You don't even, you don't really have to be into Persona to really enjoy the game. So, I know like, would you say? Like, pardon the interruption, but uh, I keep looking at that game, and I'm like, eh, I didn't like Street Fighter Four, and this keeps reminding me of Street Fighter Four. Well, it's made by Arc System Works, so, and of course, with Guilty Gear, I'm I kind of like, uh, I'm a big sucker for those kind of games, and Persona Four is no exception. Uh, uh, no, no, no exception, and it's it's a really dang good game, so. I mean, well, I would this, is kind of, this is coming from a guy who grew up with Soul Calibur 2, Tekken 5, then moved on from 2 to 3, then 3 to 4. You know, it seems a little bit more balanced than 4 or 5 to me. And by the way, Richard, this is true. Brad and his RPGs. Shut the fuck up, Mufasa. You like RPGs too. Yeah, but whoa, that, whoa, whoa. that was from the chat. That was not from Chris. Yeah, read, read, read. <laughs> yeah, but you're still coming to an agreement with the same exact but thing. It, but Don't no, but yourself. I'm not as bad as you are with RPGs. You're a lot worse than me when I, I was more into RPGs when I was younger. I'm not as much as anymore, but you're getting... You're still old. playing Pokemon! Well, a lot of people RPG. say that that's technically an RPG, but not as much as. <laughs> Hello, you play. How many games have you gone through lately that were RPGs? Give give me your number. Three. Give me the damn number. Th- you're bull. You're bull me. Stop pulling my Three. leg. 
Yeah, oh yeah, three. Yeah, I'll that's, that's, that's blue. That's blue cool because it's three, dude. Because I played Metal Gear Rising. I I've been playing like a shit ton of other games that are non RPGs. I I played through Resistance a bit. You too, but I'm just saying. It, and I I was playing through Resident Evil Five. Like just those aren't RPGs. I mean, can't really say that all I play is fucking RPGs because that makes no sense. There's nothing wrong with liking RP RPGs though. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just giving a hard time. I got I'm tired of RPGs. I went through a point where it's like I can't put up with these kinds of games because uh, I had a guy who lived three doors away from me, and it was always RPGs. It was like Grand Theft Three, Solo Nomad, uh, Xenosaga One, Two, Three, and the second I got to twelve, I'm like, okay, that's the last one I'm playing. Oh. I'm done. Like, like I said, I'm kind of washed up on RPGs at the moment because I'm now that I'm playing Persona 3, I haven't really been playing anything else. So, like, I, I still need to, yet to touch uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory, and that's pretty much, like, the last... After that, I'm probably going to take a break and uh, wait until, like, wait a while before I get into Persona 4. So, but yeah. Like I said, it's... Like, I'm not, like, super addicted to them. I still play other games other than RPG, so... But I get people are trolling, so, you know. I do enjoy the product well. placement the product placement in the background of uh, Kim's feed here. Uh, Xbox 360, uh, Microsoft... Uh, yo, I got, yo, I got Monopoly in the background. <laughs> that'll, that'll, be, that'll be $35. <laughs> oh, what, oh, God, no. <laughs> That's the games I have in my background. <laughs> yeah, but it's really clear on my screen. Hold on, like, Fox. Hold on. Just freaking weird stuff. Like, there's like uh, on one it's shelf. In the back it's all my RPGs. Over there is all my games over there. You can see all my games over there. Do you want me to remove it, Dave? See, see all my games. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> It just but, been, uh, I actually have uh, I actually have uh, 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 controllers and stuff in there right now. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. He's got a shelf there with wrestling, wrestling and movies. Next shelf long. Damn it! Can't yeah. show it all too well. That's mostly RPGs. Like I got some pretty dang rare stuff that I have a bad tendency to brag about. I have some pretty <laughs> rare stuff myself. Yeah, you see, what Chris does, what Chris does, to make the illusion that he has a whole bunch of games, he just takes DVD cases, you goes on the internet, go, yeah. goes onto okay. Google, searches up, like, oh, I don't know, Bioshock Infinite Xbox 360 cover, prints it off, and then slides the sleeve into the DVD case, and then he just puts it on there, and he's like, look at my glorious collection. I do, the, I do the reverse to make it look like I have less games. <laughs> like, he, he takes so out the, like, the gaming you're such sleeve. A fucking nerd. <laughs> he takes out the gaming sleeve and replaces it with DVD sleeves or Blu-rays. Like, yeah, no, well, you know, I don't have games. Persona Three is a fake coffee. Dun dun dun. Oh. Oh, son of a oh, beanstalk. In there. Oh. No, it's 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 the real thing. It's the oh. You can't fool me. Anyway, like real quick. Uh, this I have like three. of well, two of these are full of pl just PlayStation 2 and 1 games. Oh, my God. <laughs> full, I, used to, I used to do that with my games. That's the funny part. Is I used to take all the games and put them in there. But I remember when I would I, I would grab it, the thing was so bad. it fall This was years ago. So this was back when I was, like, 15 and um, or, or younger. I, and I try to put them in there, and it would always, when you try to grab them, fall right out. I'll tell them that. Yeah. Oh, and one final thing. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too, Richard. I love you too. Take a look at these two little bad boys. Vanguard yeah, Bandits. They're freaking ridiculous on eBay. Bandits. Vanguard old. Bandits, that's like 75 bucks. Oh, yeah. My I most wouldn't be precious surprised. little bad boy. They Ooh, have to reprint this on oh, You would have that. You would have that. Blue yeah. Man, yes. That is such a good game. You, oh you have no idea how much begging and pleading I have to do to my little brother to spend the hundred dollars on this. You know, uh, where, I, I got so well, lucky. You, wait, wait. You got that for? Cheap. Hold on. You got that for a hundred? Yeah. 
You're lucky you have some B. That game is... Oh, my God. People charge so much for that. You know, you know what is a really good obscure PS, PS1 game? Rhapsody Musical Adventure. Uh, I heard that one went down in price. And yeah, I heard it went down in price, but it's still it's still a dang good game, regardless of its price. Uh, one final thing. It's complete. You lucky yeah. SOB. If you only paid 100 you're lucky, because a lot of people charge at least like 130 to 150 for that game. There's only one game I'm missing from my collection, and that's Sukoden 2. I have one, I have three, I have four, I have five, I have Tyrkis, which I like to pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, two? Okay. This is such a bad game. The most underrated RPGs on the place, uh, well, the two most underrated RPGs ever, in right. my personal opinion. Lunar 2, Sukoden 2. Yeah. yeah. Sukoden 2 is just incredible. Like, for my PS2 collection, I'm missing one game that I've been looking for, and it's a pain in the butt to find, is uh, Xenosaga 3. And, and, and um, what else am I missing? God, I... No, I think that's the only one, because I have the Shell Heart series. Uh, I want those games. Yeah, I have all three. <laughs> I like I have from them. the New World, uh, but I don't have. But I played one. And I haven't played Covenant. I, I have one. Shadow What do you want for it? It's it's not even my copy. It's my uncle's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro. He basically well, he basically gave me it, but yeah. But well, like I said, I'm not giving hard. that. I'm not giving that game away though. It's hard to find like the even the trades. So no negotiating on trades. I'm um, I'm going I'm probably gonna keep that I still ha I still yet have to beat that game. I still have to. I'll do a lot of pre-sale tactics. I don't know I just uh, games are such like finding old titles are such a pain nowadays yeah. because places don't buy don't sell them that much anymore. Yeah, you gotta go to eBay. Oh yeah. And yeah, go to eBay, eBay son. I have no idea why I went to eBay for freaking Sukoden Four. Like, I already played it, I finished it, and I'm like, okay, this is trash. Why do I ever want to play this ever again? I must have got, like, real mad. I'm like, you know what? I'm dropping cash on something. <laughs> dropping that money. Money! Like, like I did last week, just dropping that money. <laughs> I, actually, I know of course. story. You I even came on the podcast with a wad of cash, and you're like, no, oh, look at my money. I'm an actor. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm broke now. I'm like, Freaking social assistance. <laughs> no, I put that money in the bank. If anyone was wondering, it's in yeah. the bank. He uh, he gave it bank. gave uh, cut it to his pimp. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it goes. He does the truffle shuffle outside and makes all the moolah. Uh, does he make no, commission I, or do you just does he just charge a flat rate? Uh, Chris. He, Dave, you're pretty cheap, so I think he charges. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh, whoa shots wait. fired. Excuse me, I am a high class hooker. All right. You need <laughs> no, to calm no. down. No, you're on Vicky Girl. Have you seen life. this man in booty shorts? Yes. Has, like, have yeah. you seen? God. This man is like this man is like the Daisy Duke in booty shorts. Yeah, this guy. Uh, I looked up the term stud muffin. Oh, I found a picture of him next to it. Dave, you're the <laughs> Dave, you're the Vicky girl of hookers, if you know what I mean. Worship me as if I were wow. a god hooker. <laughs> Mufasa, dude, I have paid more for uh, comments than Damn. what you can charge for a blowjob. Damn. Boom, shots fired. Pa, pa. Oh, no, anyway, what what else has everyone been up to, Brad? What have you been up to? Uh, um, I'm nothing, nothing all too much. Like, I'm just like without work. Like, I'm not working anymore, so obviously I just I just fucking eat, Be sleep, lazy, play fuck. video games, and then Be just lazy, fucking, fucking do nothing. And, and then just for jobs because he's a loser. <laughs> oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! Dude. He just went crazy there. Jesus. Well, well at, Brad, least, he, at least Brad's well, in the middle of I am in the middle of the loser part. The loser part, he could have. The loser part, he could have left out of that. <laughs> you had, uh, you well, had you buried ass. me earlier, so I'll bury you. 
<laughs> yeah, Brad, you had a pretty long ass stream the other night. What was it? You had yeah, like I... a couple hours, like four or five hours long. Yeah, well, actually, uh, I streamed Metal Gear Rising for eight hours. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So that's what you've been doing yeah. as well. You've been I streaming a lot. Persona, I streamed Persona 3 for about five hours. Because I've been streaming a lot. That's that's a thing I've been doing. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm I'm liking, I'm loving it. I mean, I'm not depressed about that. I love the people that are coming in and just chatting along, and then it's it's fucking great. But it's just like. I, I really wish I had more things to do in my life. Like, you know, I, I want to at least get out there and get a job and, you know, have money to basically pay off and get more games so I can stream them and do more YouTube videos on that. Like, that's what I want to do. I mean, I want I want to kind of still get my life on track, you know? So I have a suggestion of a hobby you can get into. Okay. Is that ready? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Uh, you might have to invest a tiny bit of money into it and just a little bit of research on the internet. But I think shit. I think you could shit, I shit, think shit. you could really get into knitting. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> you look you look like the knitting type, Brad. Oh Jesus, there he goes. That jackass, you see that son of a bitch. Let's talk poor on about him now because he ran off. He's too good for the podcast. He's gotta eat his goddamn pizza. The son of a bitch. <laughs> That's not even a what joke. Uh, I know. Knitting is <laughs> Probably a really good hobby. <clears throat> I know uh, my mom does it, and uh, apparently, supposedly, it's really relaxing. I just don't have the time to. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say the time. I just don't have the willpower, or I, I really don't want to learn how to do it. It's not something I'm interested in. Because I, I, I figured it would take a long time. Oh, you can knit. Well, shush, pansy. What are you, some kind of woman? Where's your I vagina? Like no, I, like sorry about that. I had to run the doorbell because the pizza person was here. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, you agree or disagree? Knitting? Yeah. There you go. You can uh, get into knitting. As far as knitting yeah. goes, I don't know. Like, uh, I've, I've always, I've I've always, I've always watched, like, I've always watched my grandma and, and um, my my uh, aunt do it all the time. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems very complicated to do. I don't know if I'd want to really get into that. I mean, it seems like something steady. I mean, making a bit of money just by, like, making hats and sweaters and shit for people. I mean, I or making even, like, little felt, like, uh, things that you put on your wall, like video games and stuff. I mean, that wouldn't be half bad of a, a thing to do, but, I mean, it's not really my... It's not really what I want to do, but... You can, you can make a little... It doesn't, little seem, doesn't seem like half bad of an idea. You can make uh, video game modules or something, like video game... Yeah, game like make, or... make like little uh, video game things, like you put like a mat or something, so someone yeah. can pick it up off, off the wall on that. Yeah. I would have uh, I would I would have also suggested it to Corey if he were here, and then I would have said, yeah, then you could just speed run knitting. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently everything he says, or every game he plays... Uh, this is just, I'm hearing this from a source. Every game he plays, he's like, oh man, i got to speed run it. <laughs> and I'm not bashing, but it's just funny. And he is the kind of guy that, you know, just played as fast as well, possible. Wait, um, wait, what's going I, on? I, I tried doing that. I tried speed run Sakota 1 because I thought, you know what, like, speed record, 10 hours tops for all 108. Look it up online, 4 hours. And I'm like, how the frick? <laughs> like I thought it was pretty fast, but it's like nope. Have fun, slowpoke. Yeah. <laughs> well, Honestly, yeah. I like to take my time with my video games, and like that's a thing that I've always been. Like I, I don't rush through my games. I mean, I just happen to play the game a lot, and I end up beating it faster than I want to, and people automatically assume, oh, this guy, like. He plays nothing but the same game just to beat it really fast. I was like, no, it's not the case. I take my time to play the game. I just happen to put a lot of time into it. There's a difference between that. So this guy, I mean, this guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy is unfucking believable. Yeah, what? Oh, this guy. Or you know, there's. <laughs> I, can, I don't. I don't. You know. Speaking of speed running, or or I you can be like, like that low life. Or you can be like a low life on YouTube and upload like twenty thousand videos. But you know. I feel like that's, I'm that's, tired. A story, that's a story for another day. 
I feel like Chris would be the worst speedrunner because he'd yep. be playing, and all of a sudden he'd just go, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, oh, hold on, I screwed up, oh, hold on. And it just, man, so slow. <laughs> you'd be like, oh, hold on, guys, dinner time. You know? Yeah, hold on, dinner, hold on, hold on. Guys, hold on, hold on a sec. <laughs> you waste of life, Chris. I'm kidding. I'll be right back, guys. Always going to eat Good. the za. Good. We can, yeah. we can move on to me now. Nope. Yeah, go for it. Forget about you. Well, uh, I did last two weeks, I think the last podcast I was in was two weeks ago. Um, it's been hectic because, um, first of all, uh, one of the the uh, frames, not the frame, to the uh, the things on the side of the glasses broke, so I had to get new ones. I think they're uh, called arms, aren't they? Yeah. Need something like, sidebars. Sidebars. Right. Yeah, something. I don't know. Called. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got to, I had to go get those fixed, and uh, that took a little while. Um, so I got new uh, new color here. It's white instead of orange. Yeah, um, I never had that problem because did... my dad was like a... I don't know. He's done stuff with welding and stuff like that, so I never had that problem. <laughs> so he would just yes. weld the damn thing back together. <laughs> like, oh, you need easy, easy uh, solution. to get your glasses fixed. Just let me do it. Yeah, I I had to have a tape right here at the bottom here because it was, oh, it it's, was it's too bad you didn't have it right at the bridge. You know, break it and then you can tape <laughs> it and you could be like yeah, the yeah. typical Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> that would have been Maybe awesome. I'll do that on purpose. Nah, Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're only in February, but <laughs> we can yeah, think it's, ahead. That's an idea. Yeah, why the hell not? Uh, Chris, yeah. did you say what you were doing other than, uh, you know, working because you're, uh, I don't do anything. you're I a done, dapper though. fellow? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we're a little bit premature there, Dave. Um, I, I was going to tell you that I've been uh, playing uh, games. I finally got around to The Wolf Among Us Episode 2. Um... I had I've had computer issues, so I haven't been able to play any games other than on my consoles. And uh, other than that, uh, no games. But I've been uh, watching the Olympic games, uh, so it's been a lot of TV watching lately. <laughs> uh, what did you think of episode two? Uh, yeah, it was good, but not as good as the first one. It dropped a little bit in quality. I I don't know. I, I don't know about the whole uh, plot thing. It 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 was. I mean, it, See, it's kind of furring into the, uh, the whole glamour thing, I guess. But more than that, uh, I think it was got he was uh, people should stay dead. Yeah, I've I've been fine with both uh, the Wolf Among Us and the Walking Dead. But a lot of people were complaining about after both of the first episodes um, came out, right? So like, what was it? December or January, I forget, uh, with uh, season two of The Walking Dead. When that came out, people were like, I, I think one of the complaints they were saying is that they, they were too similar. They weren't really uh, branching out so much in uh, creative ideas. Um, I didn't really see it personally, but, yeah, a lot of people were saying that The Wolf Among Us, uh, episode one, and season two, episode one of The Walking Dead were very similar. Did you get that kind of feel? Well, I haven't played The Walking Dead uh, Season 2. Oh, okay. I thought you but, had already. No, no. I, um, I'm i skipping it. Um, I, <laughs> no, I, just I, skip yeah, fuck it. I'm skipping it. I'll watch it on YouTube. It's fine. Um, I just feel like uh, the games... They, yeah, they are similar. That's why I'm skipping one of them, uh, Season 2 of uh, The Walking Dead, because I feel like maybe it's too similar to the first game. Uh, the first uh, few, the first season. Um, I mean, it, it's interesting to see the uh, um, character developments and such, but mm, it's the same gameplay, basically. So you could just watch it on YouTube. It's a story. Yeah, right? that's true. I mean, you can make different decisions, but um, yeah, well, you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's kind uh, of the problem with. Playing like adventure games in general. Once you play it once, uh, there's no point in playing it again. I can I I can always always go back to Monkey Island just because I yep. love that game. Love that's that the, game. 
Um, not Curse of Monkey Island. I mean, I can go back to that any time because it's I just it, it, it's no like decisions that are um, split in that game. Not really. But Tales right. of Monkey Island, there's a few things there that can really carry on to the next episode. Yeah. So I have to go back and play that back. again, Tales. Yeah, me too. The Tales of Monkey Island, oh. really good game. Yeah. Yeah, because I think the first... Uh, no, I went through them one time alone, and then the second time I did, it was like during a week-long stream that I was doing. And I started on like episode... or Yeah, what are they called? Episodes for that game? I think they went with episodes, whatever. Episode one, and then just continuously played through all five of them, and I was like, oh my god. It, it was so much more fun with the audience, just interacting with people and playing it. So I, I think I... Yeah, I'm going to go back and play those again. Have you no. have you streamed it more than once? Have I have I streamed them more than once? No, I've only streamed them once. So you were sick during the uh, one of the episodes. I know that. Oh, was I? Yeah, you you were commentating. You sure it oh, wasn't hung okay. over? That's what it might have been. But I might have been sick as well. I don't know. It could have been either or. It was a long ass time ago. During Christmas, I think, or right after. Oh Christmas no! Or something. It it was in the summer. Oh, it was. Well, maybe yeah, was. Know, maybe I'm just yeah. uh, thinking of the Grinch. You streamed the Grinch <laughs> once. God, <laughs> I streamed so many games that I don't even. <laughs> no, this is a movie, though. This is a movie. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was for Toronto Sick Kids. There was that yeah. was a charity stream. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of sponsors behind that, and they got a. I can't remember the final total, but it was a, it was a good chunk of money that was sent over there. It was pretty cool. That was fun. I did like I did the original uh, like claymation films. Um, so like, well, and the animation films like Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, all that stuff. And uh, I had a whole bunch of sponsors for every viewer that was in. Uh, they created a a program that would collect the IPs, and once a person came in, it would collect the IP and see how long they were there. And for every minute that a person was there, it was a dollar sent to Toronto Sick Kids. So that was a that was a pretty cool thing. What is this? Who is what, Chris? Pimping out Chris's pimp... What? Pimping out Chris's pimp takes time and makes you super busy, Kim. You're... Okay, pimping out Chris's pimp... Oh, so, Kim, you're pimping me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're... Yeah. It's you're my turn. pimp. Yeah, I'm your pimp. Yeah, you're, you're my like pimp. <laughs> and then I'm Chris's pimps. pimp. Yeah. yeah, it's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> of That's what it is. <laughs> All right, I'm yeah, all yeah. And everyone's yeah Chris is the foot soldier. Uh, Dave's a. Uh, it's like okay, <laughs> you pay me, then all the money goes back to Kim. Dave's yeah, a Dave's the middleman. Essentially, Chris is bottom bitch. So yeah. <laughs> bottom of the food chain, where he should be. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I bury myself some more. Let's go. <sighs> I hate you guys. I hate being I, I, here. What am I doing here anymore? You better ding that whole bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Chris. bro, I just came back just to say that. Wow. Don't worry about it, Chris. He's we all there. love you in some gay way. Some <laughs> gay way. What? It's okay to be gay with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I forget One of these song. things definitely belong here. All right, what? So uh, are you gonna truffle this, shuffle? This is what happened, Chris. But you no. don't return my love letters. No. <laughs> I will never return. Wait, what Nick say? I got them. Crap. Um. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Kim? No, that's been my two weeks. Uh, computer oh. problems and such. I've had uh computer problems with my, both my desktop and my laptop actually. Uh, my um, this is not the key, but it's similar. It's black, but um, my uh, spacebar key is off on my uh, laptop. I was gonna clean what under the... it, but that's stupid to do. So you can't go like that anymore. No, hello, I can. But um, not, this is not on my laptop. Not on my laptop. So you were trying to clean underneath it, and you decided yeah. to pop it up. Yes. Exactly. And now you can't put it back on. Yeah, but it's broken. Like, something is broken under it. Oh, it snapped. Oh, uh, it's shit. It's broken the... Yeah, something that... Uh, the hole that this thing is going in, the, the little thing. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
I broke I broke uh, some of my keys fell on my old laptop, so I know what you mean. Like, uh, my space bar, I barely had a space bar, and I never had to put something in there just to press like space, or it wouldn't do anything. It was such a pain. I can still type though. I can I can use the little white uh, uh, button under. It's well, that's, uh, that's it's good. tedious, but it is what it is. Yeah, as long as it makes the connection, it still works. Yeah, the computer yeah. works fine. It's just the keyboard. So, um, all of the, we'll just get into email questions right now, I guess. And I don't, I don't have like a set list of who sent them in, but all of them were pertaining to uh, the Nintendo Direct from the other day oh, and God. asking our our thoughts on them. So, if anybody would just wants to chime in and uh, <laughs> just say what they thought about, uh, I believe it was yesterday's Nintendo's Nintendo Direct stream that they had. Yeah. I didn't watch it, but I got, I got the recap of it. What, what, do, what do you think? What did you like? What didn't you like? I liked that Little Mac is uh, going to put playable character in the, uh, the game, Super Smash. That's cool. I think Chris is going to explode. So, Chris, what? <laughs> I don't know, because like I said... This Dude, like, Little Mac I'm and Smash that, That's the only thing that really threw me out. Little, Little Mac and Smash Bros. Little man. Mac and Bayonetta 2. Was, that was the only two things that really... Like threw my attention about the whole thing. Like I said, they so, had a, they had a new Pokemon uh, trope. I, I don't know how you say it right. Tropez e. I don't yeah, know how you say it. Um, essentially, it's bejeweled. Basically, Pokemon bejeweled. We'll just call it that. And that it looked. Must be, it, it must be Pokemon Trazer out tool. Yeah, that's it. That's however you, I can't say that. Whatever. Um, but that game that looked cool. But like I said, nothing really too much. I know a lot. More oh and uh Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze I know everyone's been like all the Donkey Everybody's Kong fans I've been like oh, yay waiting woohoo like they've been over there the light. lightning <clears throat> anyways um yeah um, mark my words we'll sooner see uh Last Guardian before we see Donkey Kong returns to Tropical Thunder or whatever the frig it's called uh Tropical Freeze or whatever Tro it is. <laughs> Don't matter at this point. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, Tropical <clears throat> Freeze comes out on February 21st, so a uh, week today. That's oh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Six days for me. Boom. Six days um, for me because you're in the, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Just five so, days before the game I want comes out. Yeah. I mean, I watched... Uh, I think I, I I think I missed about half an hour of the stream itself, but I was just sitting here and watching my Twitter stream just blow up. Like that's what I was doing. I was really not doing anything, looking at my second screen and just watching it just flow. And I was like, what I gathered, what I gathered from what everybody was saying is that everybody's super happy. And I'm talking about like the hardcore of hardcore Nintendo fans, not just the average hardcore, Nintendo hardcore player. Nintendo yeah, like super hardcore Nintendo uh, fans. Um, what I gathered is that they're super happy about Little Mac being in the new Smash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're super disappointed about everything else. You can't <laughs> please hardcore Nintendo fans for some reason. No, you can't. You really I mean, can't. I, I think what... Yeah, I think what they needed to understand is that this was just an update for what's coming out in spring. It's not like it's E3 where they're going to announce a new Metroid game or a new whatever, Kirby or something. Um, it's just updates, so release dates, uh, trailers, and all that good stuff. But hardcore Nintendo fans are never happy unless it's, like, a first-party title that involves Mario, Zelda, blah, 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 you know, all those characters. They never want to try out new intellectual properties that are coming out from Nintendo, and that's really unfortunate, <clears throat> is they're not really willing to try something new. They just stick to the, the standard format of what has always been there for Nintendo. And I think that's why they do... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Pardon me, but uh, they want to feel like they're ten years old again. I think that that's probably it. It's like it's it's they're just stuck in the nostalgia factor. I mean, I like Nintendo. Um, it's not like a I hate it or anything like that. But I'm always I'm always looking for something new that's outside of the normal formula. 
But for some reason, a lot of people can't. I, I don't. I don't know why. Didn't that one game, uh, uh, something one on one or whatever? I don't remember. Wonderful one on one. Yes. Uh, didn't that get? Wasn't that well received? Yeah, that did pretty yes. well. So that's new, and it's from Nintendo. Yeah. Speaking uh, as another game, uh, I want. I know they didn't say, it, but uh, you know, I still want to try that Bravely Default game that's out too. That's mm-hmm. a really popular one going Everything, around as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. Also, uh, another game to mention. Um, did anybody else besides me play Mad World? Oh, I have. I played Mad World. That game is fucking great. Yeah, I heard that game bombed. Really? I heard it didn't sell that well. Well, it was an amazing game. I don't know how it didn't sell well, though. Was that the black and white yeah. uh, game with uh, just the blood was that was by, red? Uh, it was made by Suda51. Not Suda51, sorry. Um, um, I'm trying to think of the team. I have the game around here. Uh, Platinum. Oh, so Bayonetta. Basically, yeah. yeah. It's the same people who did. It was the same people who did Van Halen. That. That's that's one that I was excited for. Uh, I yeah, I'm excited for Van Halen too. It's just unfortunate that Platinum game sucks with their money. They don't know how to save it. Uh, Bayonetta one sold like hotcakes. It was really well received, and they get they garnered all this money from it. But then it came time to create a second game, or you know, like interest. Uh, started uh, started going around for a second game, and they were like, oh no, oh golly gee, we don't have money, and nobody wants to pay us to, uh, to come up with a second game. The first Bayonetta is a fucking fantastic game. I want to see what they do with Bayonetta too. Um, Metal Gear Rising sold pretty fucking well too, and I think that Platinum has potential to release some AAA games. So, I mean... Well, did they do uh, Lollipop Chainsaw as well? No, that was no, that's Suda 51. 51. Yeah, that was a pretty decent game. Yeah, Killer um, Killer's Dead I heard was pretty good, but that uh, got poor reviews and sold meh. But uh, it sold it got it got poor reviews because apparently the story was hard to get into, and I was like, since when do you play a game for a plot? I mean, I play a game for plot. Really, the plot is not really like it, usually in those and Suda Fifty One games. I mean, most most of the time you don't even pay attention to the plot because you just want to get into the action because that's what most Suda Fifty One games are. No More Heroes actually had a plot and it was really good, but it's still focused on the action and even in the cutscenes and like you know when it comes to those games, I just don't know why people like uh, feel the need to bash the game. Like for being repetitive, when you know you're like you play other games and like you you like God of War and all these other crazy games when they're the same exact thing, you're doing the same exact shit, and it's just like you can't really poorly review said game and then say God of War is an amazing game because you know it, it's different, but you still do the same shit that you would do in Kill, uh, Killer is Dead. I'm not comparing the games. I'm just saying like. I, with how the repetitive nature is in both those games, I just don't know why people feel the need to use that as an excuse, a valid excuse, to uh, hate the game. Well, here's the thing. God of War 3, I think, came out around the time as uh, No More Heroes? Or was it even remotely close? Uh, it, God of War... Well, it came out the same time around uh, No More Heroes 2 came out, I think. Okay. That game felt, you know, just a lot more polished, and it felt a lot more visceral just in my opinion, than uh, No More Heroes. So, it, even if No More Heroes, uh, you know, has stronger plot, had memorable characters and all that, I would still say God of War was a better game because I had more fun with God of War. Well, it's just like, but the, the thing is, though, like, what I don't get is, like, when games get bashed for having a repetitive nature, and then you look at other games and they kind of feel the same in a way, but there's always something different going on when, like, you, you can still play that. You still play, like, Killer's Dead, and you're always doing, you can always do different things. Just people see the the fact that, like, oh, these games are repetitive because you're always doing the same fucking thing, and there's, like, no skill involved, and it's just, really, in all honesty, it's a complete and utter bullshit to me, but, I mean, well, that's just my opinion. So. Well, I think those games, the critics got tired of them sooner. Like, the term repetitive... I think needs to die off a little bit as far as reviewing is concerned. 
Uh, and, uh, well, video game just, journalism seems to just be too biased nowadays, to be honest. But like, I'm not all that biased. Well, it's but, not, no, I'm not saying, like, you are, because I know you do reviews, yeah. but your views is, like, non-bullshit kind of stuff. There's people that bullshit and say that it's non-bullshit when it's bullshit, and, yeah. like, th they'll just fucking keep going on a tangent about it, and it's just, like... Making no sense, you know. You gotta cover your fucking. You, you gotta cover your shit when you're reviewing stuff. You can't like. You gotta back up your facts. Yeah, you gotta back up your facts. Like you can't just fucking say shit and like not have anything to back up. So I mean, that's why I guess like game trailers and IGN and all these other fucking websites because they obviously have no fucking clue what they're saying, and they're making it seem like they're the. They're making it seem like they're the companies that like should tell you what to play and what not to play. And it's just like, that's not what your fucking job's all about. You know, you gotta, you gotta really put that in perspective. Yeah, no. that's partially why reviewing started to become a lost art. <clears throat> like, quality reviewing, it started to become a lost art. Like, nowadays, um, people... Go on. Uh, when you were talking about uh, Killer is Dead, I've never played it myself, but you said that there wasn't very... the, the, the plot was very lenient, uh... It, it was in, it was in showing itself, but wait. Uh, it, now, is it because it wasn't like showcased uh, in your face, like characters weren't interacting with each other, or is it it's, a case of where you have it's, collectibles it's around of, where you have to read? It's just a case of poor character development, to be honest. Like the character seems one-dimensional, but it's just like the, the problem. The thing about Suda Fifty One games is that although a character can be one-dimensional, you could still like enjoy. The character what of what he does in the game, uh, despite that, you you can still be lovable in a way. Um, sometimes people even sometimes even characters go from one dimensional and and change have a change of personality. There's there's things like that. Character development like there's yeah, there's but, a lot of that in games. But the thing about that, you have to give people a reason to care about these characters. You have exactly. to explain to them why. Should I care about these characters? But it's just like, the that's, that's the thing, though, about Killer is Dead, is that the, the, it wasn't made f to have the character as, like, this poster boy of everything. Like, the game was made for action. It was made for fun. People are shitting on the game thinking that, like, this is going to be what Suda51... This is going to be Suda51's big thing. Like, you know, and it's, it makes no fucking sense to me. Like, it's just a, it's just a hack and slash like they usually do, and they're always fun. Although I didn't enjoy Lollipop Chainsaw all that much, I sure as hell enjoyed Killer is Dead. But those are for my those those are out of my personal experience playing it. So yeah, the problem with Lollipop Chainsaw is that you can finish it in one night. Like I got it in, I was in is surprisingly nine hours. long. So sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. We're all buddies. Yeah. Um, no, I yeah. hate Dave McCauley. I hate Brad. I hate Kim, but I love you, Alan. Man, it's it's Valentine's Day. Come on, what the no, hell? No, no love for you. I only give love to one person. <laughs> one person you're just, only. Dude, you're just kissing Alan's ass because he's the guest. <laughs> no, it's not even Alan. It's just thing. Um, you're required yeah. to love me because I am like, your boss's like boss. Like I said, if you, if you're wait, wait, uh, <laughs> that means you're answering my love letters. Ah, oh, you're such oh, a sweetheart. Nope, nope. Not you. Oh god, I can There's just one, see it now. One special lady out there. Alan and Chris in, in a tree. K I S. Oh boy, I I G. G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then nope. comes Chris Alan, with you a stop, baby stop carriage. Stop having your <laughs> Mufasa X Alan uh, fan writing now. Stop. But um, but fan fan fiction. Don't even yeah, fan don't fiction. even make me bust out the fan uh. Little romance novels don't, I don't have. Don't let me bust out the My Immortal. No. Don't, you don't, like that shit. don't talk about oh, My Immortal. God. That is. <laughs> that is. No. No. But, um, who's who's uh, playing Flappy Bird? Oh, don't, uh, not don't me. talk about that game. <laughs> not me. You know that. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Dave. Before you say anything. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't even have a cell phone. I was gonna heard, say, I, I is, swear I just heard Flappy Bird. They're making a. There's someone out there who is trying to make a flat. Who has made a Flappy MMO, like a Pokey MMO. <laughs> they made a Flappy. 
of whatever it is, MMO. Yeah, I think uh, like, in, in our in our chats, Kim actually posted it. I think it's FlappyMMO.com. Yeah, what? I'm like, are you serious? Like, is <sighs> this game that bad that you want? Like, people are selling their cell phones with the game on it for like a hundred bucks. I'm no, like, no, 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 three three grand. Three, I've what? seen one go for ten. Yeah, what? see, they're going up. You, can Jeez, I sell my would. cell phone? You would, Kim. Should I Those sell it? Prices are gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you serious? What? what? I don't get I, it. I, I, video. What is this? Like the gold mine the right here. On the topic of Flappy Bird, I seen this video, and it's a guy who was like trolling on Call of Duty. He basically made his name Flappy Bird on Call of Duty, and basically what he did was he, sta he sat there AFK, and even in the lobbies, and on his microphone. He was playing Flappy Bird, and there was guys that were playing, and they're like, is this guy playing Flappy Bird? <laughs> and he's just sitting there playing the game, and he's like, and everybody's like, dude, you suck at this game. And it's just like, <laughs> he's just sitting there playing it casually, and the guys are just replying, and they're like, dude, that guy sucks so badly at Flappy Bird. And the, and the one guy's like, why the fuck are you playing Call of Duty? You're playing Flappy Bird. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I don't know if he says, why not? not? Because you trade one brain dead game for another. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to send you the video. It made me it made me laugh. It was it was pretty clever. Going back to uh, plots in video games, though, it's been proven time and time again that people don't need plots to uh, enjoy a game. Now, yeah, see, again, not 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 hating on Nintendo, but the Mario go from left to right to save the princess. That's, that's nothing exactly in between. how I felt. When I play yeah, it. there's nothing in between. It's just go from point A to point B to get to the princess, and that's the story. That's honestly, all the plot you need. Honestly, very very there's very almost a the arcade story. industry. Honestly, yeah, Killers arcades Dead as well. Could, go ahead, Brad. Killers Dead could have done without fucking the cutscenes, and it would still be amazing game. Like you don't even, like you don't have to pay attention to the cutscenes. Like you can watch them and still be like watch all the crazy shit that goes on, but you can still enjoy the game for what it is. I mean. The plot may be cheesy in that, but it's supposed to be like that. That's Suda51. So, I mean, like, why people even try to bash Suda51 for them always making quirky fucking storylines makes no sense to me. But like I said, it all goes to show that ignorance really uh, shows a lot in reviewers nowadays. But, I mean, there's nothing to do. Can I ask Two a question? Words. Last art. What's that? Um... Or I can well, it's a statement. It's more of a statement, but um, I don't really bash um games uh, that has poor plots unless the developer says <laughs> on some yes. kind of conference that they are actually working on the plot to make it better. Like Ghosts, Call of Duty Ghost. Plot sucked. It sucked, but they said they were working on it and it was going to be better, but it wasn't. So I I think that's why it gets a little bit of heat for that. I feel like I feel like that's the thing too is that there's there's games where you can basically make a shitty plot but focus on the multiplayer. But that's the thing about that's the thing about what Infinity War did is that they wanted to make a shitty campaign, they made shitty multiplayer. I don't know how that's possible, but they ended up making Very carefully ever. And this is not just me saying it. This is fucking like people who play this professionally. And say that Call of Duty Ghosts is fucking terrible. Like, the don't go back to Black Ops 2. So. Hey, uh, Dave, you've played Ghosts multiplayer, haven't you? Uh, no, I, I just... Uh, no, I'm still on the single player. And I, th I can't, you know, I can't take a competitive player's opinion seriously on an entire game because essentially they're just basing their opinion about around one part of the game, which would be the online play. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not saying, like, I believe the most competitive players. I'm just saying, like, I have friends and never, like, even, like, that's what I said, you know, com friends, even competitive players, they're just saying, like, the game is terrible, but, like, I've never played the game, so I wouldn't know that, but I'm not going to take my chances and end up paying $60 for a game that I'm not going to play anyway, because I don't play first-person shooters, so, really, it's when, when... The thing the about terrible... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> the thing about COD is is the multiplayer. The players have accepted that this is a bad multiplayer game. Much like, no matter how badly Chris wants to defend it, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is a broken, terrible card game. 
Oh, God. Are we bringing this up? <laughs> it is a broken, terrible card game. No, it it's just isn't. All the fans let, me, let me close this in. It's time for it is. debate. Oh, my God. I'm, Here's my theory on Konami. The way it, real quick. Okay. This is just in general with bad multiplayer gaming fans. They When their card game is proven to be broken and people break it all the time and they'll just go ahead and it's like, fuck it, it's part of my nostalgia. We all know it's a broken game or it's a broken card game. We've just accepted for what it is. Honestly, nowadays, I just play games to have fun. I never take them seriously. Uh, going back to the thing with Mario, though, they have a formula. You, know, you save the princess, in most of the games, anyway. And um, you save, well, at least you save something. You save something. Uh, Bowser's done something bad. You, you, you have to save something. But at least, while the plot may be similar in every game, they change up the gameplay almost every time they make a game. That's true. So that's that's a success formula because people keep buying it. Not because it's well, they might be fans, but they get new fans because they change it up. If not in plot, in something else. That is true. true. I mean, like like I said, you know, nowadays I just don't even care about anyone's opinion. I just play games to have fun. I mean. Whether someone doesn't like the game, they're going to tell me, oh, I don't like that game. And I'm like, oh, that's fine with you. I still like the game. I, mean, I don't care if you don't like the game or not. It's your opinion. I can't <laughs> even play multiplayer anymore. I don't. I just don't play multiplayer anymore. I'm not going to lie. I can, just, <laughs> I I'm can not see lie. Brad. I can see Brad going, oh, yeah, that's your opinion. Fuck you, you're wrong. I'm just going to play this game to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Brad for you. Know you know yeah. what? I can say fuck you, you're wrong because I can be like I can I can say that because it's like you hate the game. And I'm like fuck you, you're wrong because I like the game and you don't. So go fuck yourself. No, you, you just have to say you are I actually wrong. Am better than you. Yeah. <laughs> but God, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to and say that you is your problem. <laughs> I'm just going to be a nice person and just be like, well, that's your opinion. I'm going to keep playing my game. You're well, welcome. Go ahead and enjoy your games. So I, hope that, I hope Dave know where I was going with that. I used to play these really stupid garbagey decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I would play Hunters. I would play uh, Hazy Beasts. And they would tell me, oh, that, does, that deck sucks. You should run it this way. It's like, well, that's your problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. As... They used people used to tell me this wonderful deck right here used to suck. Yeah, then the Exceeds came out and it was and it's kind of broken. Yes, <laughs> and Hazy Flames are actually decent. Hunters you can play like the format before this sucked. I agree with you. The format before this sucked. Dragon rules were taking over everything, but now. Where this is at, it's not going to be always Dragon Rulers. Right now, it's Fire Kings and, um, what else is taking over? Uh, like, Mermos are still around, but they're not that bad. Like I said, people used to say this deck sucked so bad, but I stuck with it and I played it, and I love this deck. This is one of my favorite decks to play with. So, it, it's, like I said, it's not that bad. Like, Pokemon is now getting more broken because of the shit that's coming out for it. Pokemon, uh, you know, they had one... The last format was really good where it seemed like, you know, they finally figured out an issue. Then TDK came out and Rosie and Genesec came out. They're all like, oh, God, we got to fix this problem. And they're like, we're making tons of cash. Why do we care? <laughs> exactly. But I know, they're still making money, but it's just like I said, all card games have that thing. You know what I mean? It, you can't, like I said, I find you, you know, I love you, you, because I've been playing it for a while. Like, I originally wanted to start playing Pokemon, but I, uh, the card game, but I didn't like it that much, so. The one problem I have, the biggest problem I have with the Yu Gi Oh! is that it would seemingly, they would just go into pack mode and they would just go, oh god, the game's virtually, you know, we're losing players at the regionals. We gotta do something. Okay, let's go on a banning spree. You know that card, uh, Judgment Day at the Spellbooks? Gets yeah. released within the next ban list. Banned. Because yeah, I already just... knew that. 
Yeah, because <laughs> if, you, if you see what that card did, it, it's broken. I did. I'm like, why would you release a card like that and not play test it? Uh, hello. Uh, it's broken. Uh, they released a card called Six Cents. And if you remember what that did, I wonder why they did that. It was, it was banned in the OCG for the longest time. time. And then they made a more reasonable one for TCG, and then it got banned like so fast. But like I said, yeah, sometimes... Because- Sometimes they want to throw cards in just to play them. Like, uh, back in the day, Gores got thrown in. Like, at first it was, they were like, oh, at first they were thinking of playing at three, then all of us, uh, all the way, it got banned to one. I want and you to name one. Castle, I see okay. you over there with that pillow. Okay, I want you to name four, uh, at least three other cards that within one ban list got, immediately went from three to zero. Uh, name three? Yeah, name three. That went from three to zero within one ban list. I gave you two already. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Uh, and, um, Dragon Rollers went from two to ban. Uh, let's see. Uh, Six Sense was in the OCG for the longest time. Yeah. The only but, other um, card that comes, the only other card that comes to mind that went from three to ban was a card that came out a while before. Are you talking about Domok? Demok? Are you talking about Dark Magician of Chaos? Because that <laughs> card. Demok was, the, was coming around the first ban list. Uh, right. Fishboard Blaster was out for a while yeah, before it got then, banned. Yeah. Because they realized, oh crud, monarchs are going to rip everything to shreds if we give them all this advantage with Deep Sea Diva. Yeah, oh yeah. And I am selling now, like the now biggest this, Now nerd. we lost about <laughs> 50 of our viewers. We lost them <laughs> all. Yo. Well, there's probably a lot of people that... Yeah, point... And match. All right. Factory. I think there's a lot of people that in uh, like still like obviously there's a huge community for the uh, trading cards and stuff like yeah, that. People. It has been. It's it's been pop. It's getting a lot of pop uh, population lately. So is the the uh, games oh, no. like the the uh, Pokemon game is once again getting hugely populated. But like I said, I'm it's, it's glad that it's getting populated again because even old people who used to play back in the day when there's not all these new cards come, uh, want, are coming back and playing it now because it yeah, kind of... found out how much you can make winning a Pro Tour. Like, yeah, the tension. Like, like an easy deck. Like, some decks you, can, you don't need that much to play with. You, you just got to learn the basics and you're good. Plus, with an... The last two or three years, uh, we've had three new card games. Welcome being that. What was that card new fight Digimon. Vanguard? Oh, no, Vanguard? Digimon? There's a new Digimon card game. I'm not kidding. Oh, my God. They... <laughs> and oh, no. you got to discard cards from hands to summon your Digimon. Oh, my God. Why? Chris and, just got uh, a huge boner. <laughs> At the end no, of every turn, you draw back I up to used... five. I, I still have my Digimon cards from back in the day. <laughs> the worst part is they recycled the freaking art assets. D- did they That's really? Like, yeah, they did. Oh. Let me look Sheer at laziness. Ways. It's like how Kai Judo redid, they redid their whole system, too. Because Kai Judo did the same thing. Is They redid their game because they used to be out as the Doom Masters or Doom that, whatever. That was- that was a stupid card game. That yeah, cool. and now that now it's that back is Kaijudo. So it's funny when Chris is talking like that, and the lower yeah. third covers his mouth. I feel like I'm talking to Wilson on Home Improvement. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a. I don't have. Oh any my list. god, are you talking about the fence guy? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't have any list. Did, did he there. pass away recently too? Uh, a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I felt bad because it was... That it was, was actually a card. That same art was actually a card. Oh, my God. And I've seen it. Oh! So, um, yeah, oh, yeah. I know talk about it all over again, actually. But they massively failed. Um, yeah. I, actually watched, I actually watched the uh, X trailer, and holy shit, that game looks fucking amazing. Wait, what trailer? X. You know, the game maybe that's being developed by x Oh. Now, is that what it was called? Because I think I didn't see anything that said X during the thing. I thought they gave it a different title. No. Or it, is, it, is it actually called X? Yeah, it's called X. Maybe it's I that, missed it. Big big open, open, it's a big open world game like they showed is off. Is that the one that they had with the fucking mechs? Yeah. 
That's X. Oh, okay. I thought he. I thought. I thought he called it something else. Sweet. It looks fucking okay. sweet. Didn't X Seed handle uh, the localization for uh, one of the Wild Arms games? X Seed? I don't yeah. think so. I think they handled it for five or six. They, I mean, they might. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, X, though, oh my god, that game fucking looks beautiful. I mean, I, I, if, Jeez, if there was. It just hit me in the fucking eye. Brad, put your boner away. Jesus Christ. God what? damn it. Fuck. You're, you're scarring him. <sighs> yeah. Hey, hold on. You're, hold you're on. getting so happy about this <sighs> shit. Your dick just hit me in the eye. God. If you haven't taken dicks to your face before. Get him a burn deal. <laughs> oh, Kim just Kim just fucking got you good. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> But um, oh my God. the game looks fantastic, and if there if there was a game, if there's like three games that I wanted to get for Wii U, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I think that's what it's called, yeah. X, yep. um, and uh, the new Smash Bros. Uh, I don't care too much about Mario Kart, and I don't really care too much about like uh, other games all that much. I mean, like I want to get Monster Hunter Three Ultimate, but I mean, like the games that are coming out, those are the ones I really want. And then you got Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem Cross, Shimigami Tensei, which will, looks to be like it's probably going to be like one of the freaking most amazing crossover games ever made. Uh, it, just just by the fact that it's Fire Emblem and Shimigami Tensei, it's like two fucking amazing franchises being, you know. In a crossover, it just seems like an amazing idea. Speaking of crossover, before I jump on that sinking ship, <laughs> I really want to get uh, Stick of Truth now. Well, see, that's that's the thing though about like crossover games. They might have some games might have you know sucked, but it's just like this one doesn't like. I don't think it's gonna disappoint at all. It's, like I'm sure that the game's gonna be well developed. It's on. It's in good hands. So for uh, the Stick of Truth. I think I think I might wait on it. I want it, but being not the biggest RPG fan out there on this planet, everybody already knows this. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll have to see it like being played at least for like a half an hour. I'm and good. just see how it goes. And Is then, it like uh, Castle Crushers though? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Playing. I was hearing that it was going to be a side scroll, and I'm hearing like it's going to be one of those over the top isometric type of. Um, I saw a video recently, and it looked uh, the game came, gameplay looked a similar to uh, Castle Crashers for me. Yeah, yeah that's I'm that's the thing. Like, I'm going to have to watch from sources, and I don't know like so. But it looks it looks it look. I mean, it looks it to be a fantastic game, and I can't wait to see what it actually is like. So. I keep looking at that game, I'm, I, and every single time I see it, I'm like, I can do that in Flash, given enough time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, better game in RPG Maker. Is there, oh, oh, I was looking at that shit the other day. There were so many expansions for that program, and they're, what, like $30, $40 each? Yeah, when, like, when it comes to people that are dedicated to making RPG games... Yeah, I don't feel like people are using it to its fullest potential. But um, right. it doesn't seem like a too bad of a program. I just wish it wasn't so fucking overpriced. But Yeah. Um, going back it's to crossover... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it's, it's like Photoshop and uh, video editing programs. Real, it's really yeah. expensive, too. Yeah. 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 For uh, crossover games, the one that I'm still waiting for, and it's, in, it's still in development, is Tekken Cross Street Fighter. You was that, I, thought, I thought they dropped it. No, it's still in development. Oh, right. I said it's right. still, that, still well, going. I can't wait for that because Street Fighter in the Tekken environment. Oh man. Yeah, it's gonna be really different. <laughs> it's gonna be like it's gonna be really awkward because like how are you gonna do a Hadouken and all that? And it's just like it's gonna be fucking weird. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I'm still oh, really God. upset. I'm still super, super upset that Tekken isn't in Evo this year. Just makes me cry on the inside. <laughs> makes me cry. I know. But Kurt is thinking, yeah. Dave, on the bright side, Team Spooky still does coverage of it, so. 
Uh, yeah, because they're going to be doing uh, what bring your own console kind of thing, where you can have like side uh, side console. There, there'll be a whole bunch of yeah, streams. Yeah, Chrono whole... Phantasm is going to Evo. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people that go and bring streaming setups, setups and just do like dedicated streams to games that aren't on the Evo lineup. Yeah, so but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see it. Blade, the new Blaze Blue is uh, going to Evo, which is actually awesome because I like watching Blaze Blue. Like, uh, there's a lot of competitive players that I actually like to watch in that game. And there's a guy. Yeah, who... Phil- Filipino champ. No, fuck no, fuck no, <laughs> fuck no. There's there's people that actually play like low tier characters. I saw a guy playing Noel and just fucking shit up. And she's like one one of the like not worst characters in the game, but like a very like a basically like low tier character, like nobody really plays her all that much. At least from what I've seen in in uh, continuing shift extend, not many people play her. But um, I'm gonna wait to see what uh, Chrono Phantasm, like the competitive scene, is gonna be like. Uh, it's just... You were saying uh, when I brought up Blaze Blue. Uh, when it was released on Steam, what Calamity Trigger, whatever it is, yeah. you said that you heard you heard rumors that they're bringing out the newest one to Steam. Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, like I, I read a thing on FocusTech.com that said that they're bringing a bunch of like Arc System Works games in there, and I saw like Blaze Blue and I saw Guilty Gear, so I was like, if they're gonna bring Exert on Steam, which I mean, it could be a possibility if that's if Arkham System works. If Arc System works, yeah. I I can't speak right now. If Arc <laughs> System works, <laughs> is going to work. if they're bringing Blaze Blue on on Steam, and apparently Calamity Trigger, I don't think has online play, which is kind of odd. I'm, I'm, that's what I heard from a friend. Um, I don't believe him though, because why the fuck would they release a game that doesn't have online play? Um, but they're gonna bring uh, Chrono. If they bring in Chrono Phantasm, that'll be amazing, because I can say fuck the consoles and play it on PC. And if Exer does come out on PC, I'm gonna say fuck the consoles and play that on PC as well. So, because I'm getting a new computer by the time those games come out. So yeah. Does that mean I can ship off all the PC games I'm not playing to you? Um, if they're fucking, like, all Hello Kitty games, uh, <laughs> yeah, send them my way. No, we're talking <laughs> stuff like, we're talking really old RTSs, and maybe I'll send you, hold on a second. I, I wouldn't worry too much about that, man. I, I, I think I have a lot of fucking games on my hand to play anyway on Steam, but, yeah. That's a little bad boy. Oh, oh I love Bobby that game. Graham. I fucking love that game. Dude, that game was... <laughs> That game is fucking great. I, I remember watching Dave stream that. But yeah, yeah um, if they do bring Guilty Gear X in, I'm pretty it, fucking happy. Because... It even comes with the strategy guide. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but um, if, if they do bring Guilty Gear X on fucking Steam, I'm going to be the happiest motherfucker ever because, man, I'm so, a big... I, I love Guilty Gear a lot. What so. game was that? Phantasmagoria. Catch it. Yeah, what? Phantasmagoria. Oh, okay. Uh, um, but yeah, the the Guilty Gear I was talking about that I said I got on uh, GOG.com is uh, you got a Suka. Gu- Guilty. Well, uh, no, I was wrong. I'm looking at it right here. It's uh, Guilty Gear X2 Reloaded. Oh yeah, that's um that's not the newest one that's out. <laughs> uh, no, I know it's just one that they have on there. Yeah, that game is pretty sweet though. So. Kim laying the law. Oh, speaking of GOG, uh, I know it, uh, it doesn't really break terms of what we have with our sponsor, uh, Green Man Gaming. I checked beforehand. Oh, did everybody freeze? Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Nope. I think yeah. we're good. I oh, God. That's scary. Understand. Jesus Christ. I'm going to play it more, but I have this, too. I'm going to play this But, uh, but um, yeah, right now, up until, I think, two days from now or something like that, if you go on a GOG.com, you can actually pick up, pick up Dungeon Keeper Gold for free. So if you want to check that out, just head over to GOG.com. Boom. Yeah, I got the I got the Diablo 2 battle chest that I still need to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that as well. I used to have like two of them. Yeah, uh, I got I got to play this more. But when I get my new PC, that's where I'm going to be doing a lot. I, I'm I'm like with my new PC, I'm planning to stream a lot too with it. So um, I want to stream and do a lot more YouTube videos. So and oh. this is. This is going to be somewhat of a start. So. I found the perfect game to send you. This was supposed to be the Oblivion Killer. Dark was, was all magic. 
I remember that game. That game is actually pretty cool. It My brother played that a lot. Thing. A lot. I I played this on PC. I played this on 360. 360 versions virtually unplayable. It is so <laughs> useless. And online didn't even work on either game. I hear it was so buggy. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. So what was your day in LJN game? Um, LJN. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my brother in the background. Okay. They they sucked. They sucked in the early years, but they actually made good Super Nintendo games. It's funny because that game is so old, and still it's better than uh, what's released today, like Chivalry and stuff. Chivalry <laughs> was fun. Well, you can really say that about a lot of classic PC games. Like Diablo Two, I actually preferred over Diablo Three, but I didn't really play Diablo. I have it on P- PS Three. But I haven't played it on PC. But I I, I know that Diablo I, I just enjoy Diablo 2 a lot more than I do Diablo 3. It could be for the fact that it's just I don't know. It's it was easier for me to get into. But yeah. Diablo 3 would be pretty mediocre unless you had bites to play it. Brad's pretty easy to get into. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, wait, whoa. whoa! What the hey, hell what? just happened? Whoa. Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> oh my I... god. Talking about Brad. Somebody ah. said uh, Dave's face was too sexy for the stream, so they're like, okay, cuz they're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Get out. Get out. ISP don't want me. <laughs> they can't handle me right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, baby. Wait, what? Well, um. Not saying we're gonna end the show, but since the sponsor list is so long that I have to read. I think I'm just going to get it out of the way right now. So just give me one second here while I set this up quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So this episode is sponsored by GoDaddy. If you click on the link in the description, the show description, or YouTube description, you can get 32% off new products. This offer expires on February 28th of this year. It is also sponsored by GreenManGaming.com. There's a link in the description where you can get extra offers, but we have three things, three vouchers that three different groups of people can use. So we have the first one here. Again, all of them are in the the description. If you're a European Titan enthusiast, then get a load of this. We have a voucher code specifically for Titanfall that'll let you save £10, $10, or 10 whatever the hell you're spending. Use the voucher code. It is valid until February 21st of this year. And for those North people in North America, no need to feel left out. We're also dropping a new 20% voucher out there. This works across hundreds of PC download titles on Green Man Gaming. Uh, all you need to do is make sure your basket value is worth more than $10. Uh, and it will apply to as, mu- as many products as possible. That is valid until the 21st as well. And Canada, we heard it's National Flag Day, so we figured it was high time to fire out a 25% voucher just for you guys. It can be used on almost anything, so try it out and see what happens. That voucher is valid until the 17th of February. So we'd like to thank GoDaddy and Green Man Gaming very much. We'd also like to thank RadioInfluence.com, they host all of our podcasts so that we can get more exposure and more people listen to the content that we bring out. So, yes, thank you to RadioInfluence.com as well. And that is it. Just figured we'd get that out of the way right now. So, who wants to talk <laughs> about the WWE right now? Oh, wait, never mind, different podcast. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I got a couple uh, stories. I got a couple Bill stories. Washington. Brad! Sorry, <laughs> guys. I got a couple of stories me, about hold on, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Brad. We are not talking about RPGs anymore. I'm so sorry. No one Where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Can we um... talk about soccer instead? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's my yeah, turn. Talk about soccer. <laughs> okay, but no. From what I heard, I don't know if it's true, but I don't know if uh, WWE has signed a deal with. Uh, USA Network yet to still be part of it. I heard they have until the end of today to sign a new deal. If not, uh, USA do not does not own WWE uh, the affiliate to uh, to it anymore. 
they're renegotiating the rights fees on that. Yeah, because they also lost Sci-Fi too because they were on Sci-Fi for SmackDown, and that that's that one's ending soon too. So supposedly, I've heard that if they don't get signed, guess where they're going? Spike. Where? Spike TV. Oh yeah, I read that as well. But that's if TNA doesn't uh, renew their their uh, their agreement with Spike. I don't know. They. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about TNA. I don't even know how. <laughs> they're. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how they're doing lately. I've been hearing a lot of. It's been. Yeah, like to- Toby yeah. Keith was gonna buy the company with Jeff Jarrett. Did you read that one? That one was true. Uh, I, I heard yeah. the. Uh, yeah, I but heard the, about that one. But the story was that uh, uh, when they inked the deal for uh, Dixie to write in there was that uh, Dixie was going to have some sort of, like, on-stage presence. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, I can't stand her anymore. She's turning like the Vicky Guerrero of that company. She owns companies. Yeah, I know, but she's... Okay, real quick. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be WCW all over again if Spike TV drops TNA for WWE. TNA is dead in the water without that TV deal. I think it's sad that Dixie Carter's parents own more of the company than she does because she ran out of money, and now she had to run to her parents to, to get the money to pay for the company. <laughs> that, yeah, that is kind of funny. That's so it, sad. Yeah, it's pretty perfect. Also, uh, there, I don't watch WWE anymore because I got tired of it after the whole shenanigans with the Royal Rumble, but... I do keep up with the dirt sheets. Uh, there are stories going around that Alberto Del Rio and Christian will most likely uh, not resign when their contracts come up. That's, okay, it, it doesn't surprise me on Christian, yeah. but Alberto Del Rio, I, it does, because I, what, he, what they've been saying about him is he's just sick of his storyline too because they're basically just feeding him into uh, Batista. Because that's what basically what uh, Triple H thinks is right is just feeding to to Batista because because it's his best friend. Even though yeah. even even it shows oh I'm doing what's best for business, but they're still friends. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Del Rio kind of comes off like a joke in this whole storyline. Like, hello, Batista, I'm going to go to WrestleMania. No, you're not. Like, no, no you're not. stop. And then and he out. just gets his ass kicked, and then, you, oh, comes out the next week. You, Batista, that was a fluke. Ass kicked. Again, uh, the next you're, week. You, oh, God. You, what, are not you this animal? Like, he says animal, like, so wrong. Like, animal. Like, seriously? Oh, yeah, that, that's, well, that's, that's his, that's his uh, accent, yeah. though, right? Yeah, well, but I'm just saying, it just, it seems like he's saying it, like, you know what I mean? Like, out of, like... I just think it's how he says it stupidly. I'm sorry. I, I, even people who who have who can't speak English that well will say animal, right? I'm sorry. Here's the thing. This puts uh, Dodo in quite pickle because Punk walked out. Uh, Christian's got no interest in resigning, and Del Rio's got no interest in resigning. Do By the way, think, uh, oh, go ahead. do you think they'll start pushing some of these other guys? No, because. Uh, who do they got that is actually a star? No, They're because... developing... Big E is getting developed. Cesaro's not a star. Uh, Dolph Ziggler's a hazard because he keeps getting injured. And so they, don't, do, they don't want to push him either because they don't like how he pre- presents himself in the WWE because Triple H personally does not like Dolph Ziggler himself because he's just in his company. He needs to click all over but um, but like I said, oh, that's another thing. Do you love how they now just call Big Big E Langston Big E and Cesario Cesario? They dropped like their part of their names, which I'm like, why are you doing well, it WWE? Make, it makes well, it makes sense because if you're ever gonna write, whenever we talk about them, we always say Cesaro. Whenever we talk about Big E, we're not gonna say Big E Langston. We always say Big E. I know and that's what that's what they. And that's what they're saying during commentary, too, so it gets stuck in your head. Yeah. Just to uh, call them. It's effective. 
Because they yeah, said exactly. And, and they say Antonio is not a strong name. Like they have been hearing about that. Like that's not a fighting name, Antonio. Like really? Like yeah. And uh, the big how about e. Antonio Banderas? Right. Yeah, well, that guy. <laughs> what about, if you got if you said Antonio Banderas is going to kick your ass, I would be scared. I'd be running like a little bitch. It's like I'm going to the hell. Boston, Daniel Bryan is a fan favorite. Uh, is that really a wrestling name, though? No, his name uh, is Bryan Danielson. No, that's his real name. But they that's, never, know, they never want to use real names for some reason. If they can, if they can, they switch it up. That... No, but he didn't change it yeah. to something that seems like a wrestling name. That's what I'm saying. Like Daniel Bryan, th that sticks in everyone's head. It's easier. It's better than Bryan Danielson, which that's where he went by everywhere else mostly. Well, it's not the worst idea I've heard them come up with. They took uh, El Generico, told him to take his mask off, and called him Sami Zayn. Another oh reason God. why the, another reason why they do it is so that they can copyright the name and own it. Yes, because yeah. Kurt Ang Kurt Angle, uh, oh, like they were, they were trying to copyright so many names, and I'm like, no. Like you hear that. Uh, t speaking of TNA, that Jeff Hardy's coming back as one of his old gimmicks. From back in the day, when he, back when he was in Omega Wrestling, which is um, at Willow, I think that's his name going to be. It's going to be Willow, and it's based oh, on right. from this old thing called Willowus. Oh, yeah. God. He's bringing that back, and I, I'm like, and I know why they're doing it. You know why? And it's why? because of the WWE, because the White family oh. is kind of based on that kind of character. Like creepy and like, like he does his he has his a voice for it too, and it like that creepy kind of like, you know what I mean? Like they yeah. try, they're trying to feed off of WWE with the Wyatt family. I hate to say it, DNA, but you are you are smooching off of WWE. So here's the so, thing: do you think WWE is gonna rush push anybody? Do you see no. anybody on that roster stepping up? Oh, we'll just continuously see Randy Orton versus Cena every week. That's what yeah, that's what it'll become. <laughs> and then we'll just see Dean and Brian trying to do something, and still get pushed down. They don't care. They don't care. The problem is, Del Rio's not even a number two heel. But uh, they, they, no, they don't care. They only care for themselves and the people they care about. Everyone else is going to get pushed back, no matter what you think you want. The WWE will not listen to their fans right now because they don't give a crap about their fans anymore. They only give a crap of what's best for business, and well, what they see, what they see, what they want is what's best for business. Well, Vince went to bring Maxim Punk, but the way he left, the, I doubt it. By the way, just throw money at somebody. Now they're mad at people chanting CM Punk now. Oh God, four guys He's got to understand. Out. understand. Oh, for them. Yeah, like, they, people, yeah, people hated how he did, but he's still well-liked around the industry for, like, the fan, he's a fan favorite. He is number two, wait, yes, number two in most stuff sell in the uh, WWE thing. Well, here, here's what they're doing as well. Uh, they're coming to Chicago for Raw next month, I believe, the beginning of next month. But to take away from the CM Punk chance, right, because they'll be fucking rampant there in, in his rampant. hometown, what what they're doing to uh, to turn down the volume of that shit is that the that's when The Undertaker's returning, and that's when Hulk Hogan's returning. All of so, that so night. So they're going to <laughs> oh, feed the God. bush. They're going to feed into the fans a little bit by bringing back people. So you yeah, don't hear well, all, all in that night, both of them... Yeah, both of them are coming back, so they're going to hope that, like, later on in the show, you'll hear, like, Undertaker or, like, Hogan or Running Wild. They just want to take your mind, uh, the, the Chicago-tonians' mind, that, oh, you know, here's two other guys that you would wanted to see and just kind of fade away from CM Punk. That's what they're hoping for. You know we'll see what happens, though. You know what the problem is they're going to get booed out of the building. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know what would be BS? Is if you see him buy a ticket for the show and just sit there. Well, it wouldn't be front row or anything. It would be because I yeah. think that yeah, the show's already sold out itself. Yeah. But I'm just but, saying, um, it's just uh, I don't know what they're gonna go along with the future. 
another thing that I thought was funny, there was this image that showed up on Twitter, somebody created, and uh, so Edge is in the Hall of Fame and Lead is going in this year. So it was this picture of Matt Hardy with a sad face sign, and it, it says that moment when you realize both Edge and Lita in the are in the Hall of Fame and you're not. Damn! <laughs> oh God! Did you hear about wow. Matt Hardy's arrest? Oh yeah! Matt oh Hardy yeah! Apparently, he got for, arrested for for, for uh, using her wife uh, or his wife or something. <laughs> yeah, beating the shit out of got, each other. Yeah. Yeah, he got in a fight with his uh, wrestler uh, wife. Yeah, Rebby Rebby Sky. Uh, that was funny to see all over TMZ Sports. Yeah. Uh, God, I love that one picture I saw. It was a picture of Lita, and uh, on top of it it says CM Punk leaves WWE. Matt Hardy leaves. Matt Hardy gets arrested. Damn, those voodoo dolls come in handy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> Man, you will leave WWE. Yeah. You will strike the fucking version, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, what do you guys say we uh, wind down the show? Any oh, Brad's like, what the fuck? We don't even get to. <laughs> what? Well, Brad what? looks I so don't... enthused. Like, <laughs> it's like Jesus. Yes. For God's sakes! Fuck right, I sir. just, I, I just, I just can't say anything about wrestling. I just, I. That's I, fine. I, don't worry. I avoid the topic. I just don't like hearing about wrestling anymore, just because it's so shitty now. And it's just like, I, I mean, it's not like I don't have a problem with you guys talking about it. It's just like I don't really want to hear about it, uh, because just it's always the same shit that I hear all the time. It's not like, I don't know. It's. It's nothing new, really, coming from WWE. They've always been shit. I mean, I have I stopped watching no. them back in like tw- uh, 2011. It's just it's no, it's like yeah, really it's, it's gonna, just gonna get worse for the wrestlers because uh, we don't know how uh, the WWE network is gonna affect everybody's payday. And it's just yeah. like uh, that's yeah. I just like I used to watch wrestling and it was it, it was great for a while and then just all the shit that they're doing, it's just Makes no sense. This so, is what just... happens when you have somebody have a monopoly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just mute myself. <laughs> I'll read the dish sheets, but that's it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Alan, we'd like to thank you very much for being uh, the guest this week on the show. Where can uh, where can people find you on the internet? Uh. You can find me on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash tnafan2345. Uh, uh, most of the time, I'm on Skype, but half the time I won't answer you. Like, don't take offense to it. Same <laughs> name on there. Uh, I'm never using Twitter, so if you want to contact me on Twitter, yeah, uh, it's alan1i.com. A little riff on myself. Uh, my... PSN is uh, Samoa <laughs> Joe uh, 2 3 or two, uh, 3 3. I don't know. Brad has it. And uh, real quick, uh, definitely go check out my buddy uh, Mr. Rune DJ 4. He's working on Let's Plays of Persona 3 and 4. Yeah, man. They're fucking good too. Yeah, he's talented. He's a, he's a really good guy. Jesse Valerie's. Uh, someone that actually recently contacted Dave, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, you do oh, like yeah. a five-minute walk away. Yeah. Yeah, because I contacted That's... him about partnerships, so I got yeah. to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, I kind of laugh at the irony. I land yeah, on here, not... he, he gets a <laughs> shot. <laughs> the thing is, I, I, don't, I, don't mean, I don't mean to give problem. away that name on, um, to the public, because I didn't mean to do that, but... Um, How dare yeah, you? Mr. Mr. J 4 he, he's an awesome dude. I definitely oh, I know. check out his channel if you're in RPGs. So. One final thing. Uh, there's there's a drummer named Mike Portnoy. Uh, he went off and did a bunch of different uh, <coughs> little side projects. The first one was a drill and mob. Definitely check them out. Uh, they definitely deserve more attention than all the crap they've been fed. And also Wiry Dogs is another one of his projects. Uh, they have one... Both of them have one out. out uh, he just left the drill and mob to do Wiry Dogs. <laughs> Uh, 
love just plugging on just two great bands along with Dream Theater, which was his baby. That's it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Did everybody get muted? Yeah. Dave uh, dropped. Dave? Uh, I'm here. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Brad, where can seconds. people find you? <laughs> you can find me at youtube.com slash MoogleMaster102. You can find all my Let's Plays in, on that channel. You can follow me on Twitter at, uh, at Brad in the Lost World, uh, without the O, because the stupid character limit. Um, you can also add me on PSN at uh, Doomgaze, which is basically, it's spelled uh, with, with uh, a U uh, just before the A. Or just after the AI, I mean. Um, you can um, follow my blog, although I don't really use it. I also have a new Facebook fan page. It's called Population of or uh, Facebook.com slash Population of Moodles. So that you can check out that Facebook fan page, like it, and you can follow future updates of my of my YouTube channel. Um, that's pretty much it. Awesome. All right, Cam, where can people find you? Um, you can all find me on YouTube, uh, Twitter, f uh, Facebook too, uh, although I don't use the Facebook much. Um, Xbox Live, uh, PSN, uh, Twitch, uh, all really under Emmeth. Um, for Twitch, it's Emma under Emmeth87. Uh, and uh, I think that's about it. That's about the media I use nowadays. And also, the dumpster behind 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a throwback there. <laughs> I was yeah. waiting for that. I was fucking waiting for that. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, All right. I oh, I remember that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I can upstage that one. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. I gotta come back more often. Um, um, <laughs> like if we yeah, got reports out uh, the ribbons. <laughs> uh, basically, you can. Find me. I can't keep a straight face. Okay, you can find me um, probably uh, under the name of Foster Fernando under everything you can possibly think of, even Pornhub. Wait, what? Um, throwing some old back ones, but um, <laughs> but uh, like YouTube, Twitter. I do use the Facebook, but I don't even know. I don't use it too often, but whatever. If you want to go like it, go ahead. I don't use it that often. I used it for something else, but um, through a network, because um, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, even though Hater Allen over there. Anyways. Um, you play a broken card game. That's the end of the story. <laughs> anyways, um, Ask.fm and all that stuff. With us, Fernando. It's not hard all to right. find me. And if you if you have a question for the podcast, you can always send it to fans at fuse4network.com. Again, that is fans at fuse4network.com. And you can find us on all social media platforms. Probably not all. That's a bit of an overstatement. But YouTube, mm -hmm. youtube.com slash fuse4network. We have Google+, Plus, which you can go to uh, goo.gl backslash ae one Y Y capital E, Twitter, which is twitter.com slash fuse4, Facebook, facebook.com slash fuse4 network. We have our RSS feed, which again is brought to you by radioinfluence.com. We have our blog, which is hosted by Tumblr, which is fuse4network.tumblr.com. We have a subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash fuse4 network. And of course, if you want to be a guest, a future guest on the show, uh, please shoot us an email at podcast at fuse4network.com and just want to show off something here that we usually do. And <laughs> sh <laughs> Daisy, we have our forms, which you can check out and go to uh, fuse4network.freeform.org. Trying to get a lot of more people involved in this, so be sure when you go there, be sure to sign up make an account, and join in on the conversation. We have our store, which is brought to you by Spreadshirt.com, and you can head over to Fuse4Network.Spreadshirt.com to find all of our merchandise. We will be adding more, 
and uh, more um, designs, so on and so forth, all that good stuff. And still like I said, still waiting on designs, people. Still waiting on designs. Like, <laughs> send them to me. I want designs, Chris. At I Peter said we have we have no creativity. <laughs> we have no creativity. Chris at ZFordNetwork.com. I actually have no. one. I'm going to Photoshop Chris's face over Simba or uh, Mufasa's face in Lion King, and then I'm going to put it on the shirt, and there you go. There's a t-shirt design. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And, of course, our blog, which is at uh, fuse4network.tumblr.com. So be sure to check all of those out. All that good stuff. Yes. Or I was also waiting for you to put my face on the kid that did the truffle shuffle in that McGay t-shirt. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a good that'd one. Be like the best, <laughs> that would be the best, like, source ever. Just... <laughs> I'm doing that now. Just put my head yeah. over the kid and then just... And from the Goonies, too. <laughs> yeah, for gifts, you could just randomly just have people... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching or listening. This has been episode number 37 of the Fuse 4 Network podcast. We'll see you next week, Friday... Uh, we do this every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Central, and we'll see you next week. Happy Valentine's Day to all those people out yes, there. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and happy single happy awareness for everyone Valentine's else, day. as people would say. And happy, just, I don't know, happy <laughs> lady kitchen yesterday. <laughs> yeah.